Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today I have a very special video. Today's video is going to be quick and it's going to be very informative. Today we're going to learn how to flash the True DX with new firmware. There might be multiple reasons why you're wanting to do this. One might be you just want new firmware. Number two is you might be having an error or it might not be acting right. Another reference for this course of action that you would do would be the error 2 code. If you were getting that, you would want to do this. So if you're having the error 2 code, this video is definitely for you. If you just want to flash or get updated, whatever, this video is also for you. One thing I want to talk about with this real quick is that there is no USB. There is no micro USB anywhere on here. Back in the older versions, you could use one of these. With the True DX, there's a better, easier way. I'm going to show you guys how to get it into bootloader mode, and then I'm going to show you how to flash it. And then you're going to get to see your True DX back in action. So don't panic, don't throw it away and don't freak out here we go so first thing up let me go ahead and show you guys I'm gonna take my rapid fire module and I'm gonna put it in my goggles my rapid fires in my goggles and I'm gonna go ahead and power them up alright as you can see it started right up and everything is working just fine so there's absolutely nothing wrong with the goggles I'm going to go ahead and power it down, and we're going to pop it out, there we go, take that out, we're going to set that aside, and then go ahead and take your True DX, we're going to pop that in, and then if I go ahead and I power this up, you can see that we're getting like a little light here and a little light here but we're not getting anything we're not getting any response from the module it's not doing anything so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the next step in action and we're gonna solve this alright go ahead and get out your phone whatever type of phone you have go to the Apple Store Play Store whatever you got go there go to the search bar and type in true D X and you should see something that comes up with this symbol go ahead and click it and install it once it's installed go ahead and open it once it's open it's asking for permission to access this device location allow and then you're good to go alright ignore the other things I've got going on geez alright once you have done that Go ahead and leave that there active and rolling. It is searching right now. What you're going to do is you've got a little wheel ball. And if you're aware of it or not, you have two buttons. One above and one below. You're going to go ahead and hold the button below while powering up your goggles. Okay. That is going to put you in bootloader mode. Once you have done that, you'll see the True DX. Go ahead and click it. It's going to search and do whatever it's got to do. Press OK. Give it permission to do what it's got to do. Okay, so I went ahead and froze this frame because the screen went ahead and went from 0 to 100 real quick and then went back to 0 to start downloading and I just wanted you guys to know that's just the app downloaded the firmware that it's going to use to flash with. Phone active the entire time. You know, you don't have to touch it as often as I do, but touch it, you yeah, know. Don't let it shut off during this point. And also, do not power down the goggles. And don't really mess with them because they're talking through Bluetooth. And if you separate them, you could run into complications. You should be getting a flash on your True DX, letting you know that you're doing it correctly. Your goggles should have reset. After you're done, your goggles would have reset and then everything would have been good. I am up and working. I can go through my channels. 
I can go through my menus. Alright guys, so your goggles are fixed, they're up and working, you're ready to put some antennas on and get out in the field and have a great time. I really hope that this video was helpful. I believe that this video is going to fall more into the category of the people that are running into difficulties or having problems with their module. They're going to be searching and looking for help and this is going to be the video for you. This is really not a leisure time watching video where you just hang out and watch an update video so I apologize to the viewers for that. But for everybody else who is looking for this video and did want this video, you probably stopped watching by now because you got what you needed. I hope that this helped you guys out, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.